So to start off this video, I want to start, no, I need to start with a huge, huge disclaimer. This video is not about three easy steps where you can make a hundred exalts in a week. This video is about how I made a hundred exalts in roughly a week's time, starting a few days after the league start. There's an important difference there. Prices shift over time, and even as a result of me making this video, prices will shift yet again. I'm not saying avoid these three things. I am saying check the prices for yourself and see if it's still worth it whenever you watch this video. It could be that it's very profitable, or it could be that you won't make very much money, it's a waste of time, or you might outright lose currency doing it. But this is my story about how I made around 100 exalts starting day 3-4 of a league, ending around day 10 of a league. This video was brought to you in part due to the generous support of my YouTube channel members and patrons. More on how you can support at the end. Now the first thing I did is something that I talked about in another recent video. I spent a lot of time running logbooks. I've run about 50 level 80 plus and at least another 50 if not 100 lower level logbooks. Most of these were black scythe because I'd then take my currency and go over to Tujin and I'd refresh his inventory time and time again, buy all the currency stuff and make a profit that way. When I was doing it, I was making around 6x an hour. Since then, prices have shifted so that rerolls are significantly more expensive, but most of the other currencies are significantly cheaper. I don't know quite how this balances out. I do think for a lot of people it's still worth your time to do, but it might not be exactly the 6x an hour from my video. Now, if you want to see that video and some more of the methodology behind what I was buying, why I was buying, etc., do check that out. It will be in the card and in the description below. The second thing is what I would call incidental crafting. Incidental crafting means I needed a quiver. I needed a better quiver than the skirmish. So I bought a bunch of quiver bases, I bought a bunch of fossils, and I started spamming. I used a mix of aberrant and pristine. It seemed like I got better results consistently with the aberrant, interestingly enough. Although aberrant pristine did yield the actual quiver that I ended up using, so it's kind of hard to tell which method is objectively the best. Both are quite good. Aberrant alone was a little cheaper, a little easier to buy things. Aberrant Pristine did tend to have those really good results, even if most of the results were worse. The best quiver is the one I'm using, which you can see on screen now. Aside of that, I made another quiver that I sold for 10 exalts, and several others that I've sold for around 1 to 2x a piece. I spent maybe 5x in fossils total, so I've not only made an item for my build, but I've made a profit. I did that with my cluster jewels. I did that with my amulet. I've done that with several other pieces of gear. It's impossible for me to tell exactly how much I saved by doing that, because I was always doing it in a way that was profitable. And it's why, for example, I have a 10x Watcher's Eye, or why I was comfortable paying 10x for an Empower 4 really early in the league. I was making the money and I could afford it, so I wanted to invest those things in my character to get as much out of my character as possible to do the hardest content. However, crafting for yourself isn't the only way to craft. In fact, another incredibly profitable way to craft is to craft for a meta. And this is where I made the bulk of my money. The bulk of my money came from spamming dense fossils on item level 86 colossal tower shields. This is because of the massive popularity of spectral shield throw. The methodology I used for what might be sellable was pretty easy. Early on, if it had 2,000 armor or more, it was probably worth at least checking in POB just to see what the total armor rating was, because anything with 2,400 plus armor was very sellable. As time went on, though, more people found out that it's incredibly easy to craft these shields, and more spectral shield throw players found out that they had the shield that they needed, or they ended up finishing up with a build and moving on. As a result, it became harder and harder to sell the 2,400 armor shields. I ended up putting a cutoff point at 2,500, which meant that the base shield before anything was crafted on it, suffix or prefix wise, had to be about 2,300 in most cases. In terms of how often I got one of those, I'd often buy fossils 100 at a time, and I'd roll out four or five shields. The other thing that changed a lot, keep those numbers in mind, was the price went down by about half. It used to be that I could sell most of my shields for double what I was selling them for as of when I recorded this footage and made this video. 
The other problem is that fossils and resonators started to go up, as more people had money to start doing crafting. Initially, I was paying about one and a half chaos orbs per attempt. By the end, I was paying three and a half. So my expenses almost tripled, and my profits got almost halved. Something that was originally quadrupling my money ended up only making me about 150% of initial investment each time I did it. And that really shows how prices shifted over time and how it hurt profits, because I spent 5x on day 4, and I got back 20 by the end of the day. So in the end, if I wanted to summarize, here are three important takeaways for early league money making. Number one, get into the league mechanic early. In Harvest League, people said Harvest was garbage, and I was spamming cluster jewels and making a fortune. In Ultimatum League, people said Ultimatum was unrewarding. I was running in Quarry and making multiple exalts an hour. If you get into the league mechanic early, you can abuse it in some way, be it spamming cluster jewels for a crafting thing, be it running low-level content over and over and over for max profits, or in the case of logbooks, just optimizing. And I will leave Grimrose video to logbooks down in the description below. I was going to make a guide. He beat me to it. His guide basically says everything I was going to say anyway. I used a very similar strategy. It's a great guide, so you can check that out if you want to know how I optimized my logbooks. But in short, the league mechanic is almost always profitable, so you should do it and don't be afraid to sell things related to the league mechanic, as that can sometimes be more time efficient, thus more profitable for you than doing it yourself. The second thing, when you're making a build, don't just buy everything. Don't just say, oh yeah, I mean, I guess I could buy this item for 30x. Look at how easy it is to craft. Go on Craft of Exile, experiment around, and let's just say it costs on average 10x to craft it. But you know that you're going to make five or six others that are sellable. Well, if you sell them all, maybe you'll end up spending 0x and have a 2 or 3x profit. If you do this, not only will you be able to purchase key early league upgrades, like the Watcher's Eye or Empower that I bought for my build, but you'll also be able to consistently make money while upgrading your character. Then finally, go on Pewee Ninja. Look at what the most meta builds are. Look at what people are playing a lot. And see if there's any items that stand out as being particularly easy to farm for or craft, and start selling them. That's what I did with Spectral Shield Throw Shields, and it accounts for, I would say, about 50x of my total wealth. Now, I know I threw around the number 100x, I don't actually know exactly how much I made. Near the beginning of a video, I showed my stash tab, which had 60 raw x and another 10x in chaos. That's 70 right there. I know I paid 10x for my Watcher's Eye. I know I paid 10x for my Empower. I know I spent about 10x on several other upgrades. Is my character worth at least 30? Absolutely yes. Is my character probably worth closer to 50? Yes, most likely my character's worth closer to 50, especially once counting Awakened Gems and all that. And there were some random drops that I got. You know, sometimes I got an Exalted Orb from a random map. I'm not going to say this is a super scientific, you will make exactly 100x doing these exact things. If you copy these exact things, you will not make as much as I did, because prices have shifted. Now, if you find your own methods, if you apply these concepts, you may make even more. But regardless of how much you make, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope it helps you inform your next League Start money making. Or maybe even what you're about to do now. And with that, my question to you is, what is your favorite money making method for early League? Do you just run maps? Sell maps? Do you push bosses? Do you craft? Do you do the League mechanic? Leave that with your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. A special thanks to my YouTube channel members and patrons, whose generous support keeps you from needing to accept sketchy mobile game sponsorships. If you want the best way to keep up with my video releases and live streams, or maybe just hang out and chat with a bunch of like-minded people, be sure to join the Discord. You can find all these links down in the description below. Thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.